welcome back to another episode of HTTV Live. I am Jack Boomsma. And I'm Elliot Herford. Elliot, we were missing you last week. Where, where, where were you at? You know, there's this cold going around, and I got that cold, and it was not fun. So I was sick last week. <clears throat> I, I see. I see. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, how has this week been? How, how have you been enjoying FFA week? Oh, FFA week was pretty fun, you know. Um, uh, every morning, I, there was a trivia in the high school. Yes. Um, Monday, what was Monday? Corn count. Yeah, there was corn count Monday. Uh, Tuesday was... Uh, Nothing. Wednesday was uh, recruiting for... The younger kids. Tuesday we were supposed to go to Hitchcock and yep. hang out with the elementary, uh, elementary kids, kids and talk to them about FFA, but then we had late starts and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Wednesday was recruitment, and today was the FFA breakfast, which was good as always. Yeah, always. But uh, now we will be sending it to Jacob Miklich with the weather. Hey, it's the weather, man. Uh, for your seven-day forecast this week in the Hitchcock Tulare area, for Friday is a high of 19, low of 2. Saturday is a high of 34, low of 7. Sunday is a high of 35, low of 6. Monday we have a high of 38, low of 16. Tuesday is a high of 42, low of 14. And Wednesday is a high of 35, low of 17. And for Thursday we have a high of 43, low of 17. Back to you. Good. Thank you, Jacob, for that good old weather update. It's been quite tri chilly. It's been a little bit cold. Uh, but now we'll send it to Zach with sports. Whammy. Now I'm here with the sports update. Um, so the girls ended their, their season against Castlewood uh, with a loss again, uh, 26 to 60. So good job, girls. They ended their season uh, 6 and 15. Uh, the boys coming up, they have a game against Northwestern in Millette uh, at, on this Friday on the 25th. That's The varsity starts at 6.30, and I believe there's junior high and JV as well. And coming up is first round of Regions next Monday, uh, second round to follow that Tuesday. So good luck, boys. And now I'm here with Madison Hofer. Uh, Madison, what was your favorite basketball memory? Um, probably the locker room and just getting pumped up for games and listening to music. It was fun. Yeah, I bet. Um, <laughs> uh, any advice for the younger kids coming up? Um, I would say just to be coachable. When coach gives you advice, take it and work on it every game. That's good. Well, thank you, Madison. I'm here with Shandy Chasing Hawk. Uh, the girls' basketball season just ended, and we're going to interview the seniors and ask them a few questions about their basketball, uh, high school basketball careers. So, Shandy, what was, uh, what was your favorite memory of girls' basketball? Um, yeah, probably the Iroquois game. It was a pretty fun game. Yeah, I was at that game. It was a pretty good game. So, um, well... Uh, do you have any advice for the younger uh, kids coming up uh, next year? Um, there's basketball is like all mental. Just be mentally strong when it comes to actually playing. All right. Well, thank you, Shandy. And now we we will be sending it back to Zach um, for talking senior spotlights. Senior spotlights and. Um, Talking to our to senior, the girls. senior girls on that the basketball team. That one. I'm Zach Gilbert, back with uh, Senior Spotlights. Uh, this is our third of the year with Elliot Harford. Uh, Elliot, what are your plans after high school? Well, I plan to go to Lake Area Technical College for welding. You know. Okay. Yeah, they have a good welding program. That's a good. Plan. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Uh, any scholarships that you have applied for or sponsorships? Uh, I haven't applied for any yet, but I do plan on applying for the Build Dakota scholarship. Right. Maybe some more if it comes to mind. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that Build Dakota is a good deal. Get all your tuition paid for, some tools too. No. Awesome. Dang good thing. Uh, what's your dream job, Elliot? Well, Zach, thank you for asking me that question. My dream job. 
you really want to know what it is. Yeah, I do. <laughs> is a well being. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a good profession to get in. I know. Okay. Yeah. Lots of moolah on that. Okay. Yeah. Um, Elliot, where do you see yourself in five years? <laughs> you just asked me that. I'll ask you, June John. Oh, okay. Well, I see myself welding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know, okay. but hey. I plan on welding. Good. 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 Okay. What's your favorite high school memory? Uh, I should say this, but uh, no. Freshman year, we were in egg, egg uh, class, and uh, I was messing around with a little rubber band in my hands, and uh, I accidentally shot Mr. Brink, our old egg teacher, with it. Almost pooped my pants. <laughs> Looked around the class, everyone's had their mouths open, like, like, oh my gosh, we're going to get a butt chewing from Mr. Brink. But he played it off pretty well. He was like, for like, like 10 seconds, just quiet and like, and then he goes ah you shot me <laughs> and we're like it was crazy it was really funny yeah mr brink was quite the character back then uh we really loved getting uh yelled at all the time oh, i didn't it, love getting yelled at it, it we miss it though. we miss it no we don't <laughs> a little bit no a little bit all right well thank you elliot for your time and uh Good luck in the future. Yeah, thank you. Of the year, Friar, what are the what are some of your plans after high school? Uh, plans after high school is I'm going to Lake Area in Watertown for Diesel Tech. Okay. Yep, that's a good program right there. They just built a new shop a couple years ago. Yep. So, uh, any scholarships you you're gonna apply for or? Um. Thinking about Build Dakota, but I'm leaning really towards on going to RDO here in Redfield and just going with a sponsorship with them. Yeah, a lot of a lot of uh, benefits come with getting sponsorships with certain companies, so that's a good plan. Uh, what's your dream job after that? Uh, my dream job would be probably just to come back to the family farm and just start farming. Living the dream. Oh yeah. Uh, where do you see yourself in five years, Brad? Five years, be done with RDO, whether or not I stick around a little bit more, get some more cash. I think then just be finding a place and start building. That's right. Uh, what's your favorite high school memory or moment? You know, there's been a bunch of them, but I think the my best one would be when Elliot Harford Shot a rubber band at a uh, ag teacher, Mr. Brink. If you know Mr. Brink, that was a pretty scary moment for all of us. That was very scary. Yeah. He he took it pretty well though. So. He's a good guy. Yeah, he is. So thank you, Briar, for your time and uh, good luck. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Now I'm here with Briar Close with our second uh, senior spotlight of the year, Briar. What are the what are some of your plans after high school? Uh, plans after high school is I'm going to Lake Area in Watertown for Diesel Tech. Okay, yeah, that's a good program right there. They just built a new shop a couple years ago. Yep. So, uh, any scholarships you you're gonna apply for or? Um, thinking about Build Dakota, but I'm leaning really towards on going to RDO here in Redfield and just going with a sponsorship sponsorship with them. Yeah, a lot of a lot of uh, benefits come with getting sponsorships with certain companies, so that's a good plan. Uh, what's your dream job after that? Uh, my dream job would be probably just to come back to the family farm and just start farming. Living the dream. Oh yeah. Uh, where do you see yourself in five years, Brad? Five years, be done with RDO. Whether or not I stick around a little bit more, get some more cash. I think then just be finding a place and start building. That's right. Uh, what's your favorite high school memory or moment? You know, there's been a bunch of them, but I think the my best one would be when Elliot Harford shot a rubber band at a ag teacher, Mr. Brink. 
if you know Mr. Brink, that was a pretty scary moment for all of us. That was very scary. Yeah. He he took it pretty well though. So he's a good guy. Yeah, he is. So thank you, Briar, for your time and uh, good luck. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Zach, for those good old interviews. Um, uh, we'll send it to Briar for interviewing the president of the SFA I'm Barry Close, and I'm here with Kyle Hamilton, the president of FFA. So, Kyle, what is this week? Well, Briar, let me tell you, this week is National FFA Week. Okay, what is National FFA Week? National FFA Week is a time for us as FFA members in our chapter to celebrate FFA and its members and to help and want others to join and encourage others and hold different events here at the school. That sounds awesome. Um... How have you been celebrating FFA week then? So, each day of the school week, we've asked a trivia question, and whoever gets the answer right in the mornings during announcements will get a candy bar. So, it's a way to get others not involved in FFA involved to some degree. Uh, Monday, we also held a corn count. So, you'd write down your little slip um, how many kernels you thought was in the jar, and from there... Um, uh, if whoever was the closest would win a candy bar. So there, once again, we're getting them involved a little bit. Uh, Tuesday, we were going to go to the elementary and talk to the elementary kids. The seniors were, but that was canceled due to weather. Um, today, uh, for Wednesday, we don't have anything. Well, we had the green hands get their green hand degrees, and so we painted their hands as well green as uh, sort of an initiation and then tomorrow on Thursday tomorrow morning we will be having the FFA breakfast to give back to our community and it's completely free that sounds really nice thank you Kyle thank you Brad for those interviews now I have upcoming events on February 25th there is junior high boys basketball at Northwestern on February 28th there's boys basketball regions and that is pajama day because that's a part of snow coming that's happening next week, and we'll be announcing homecoming or snow coming royalty next week as well. But then March or March second is Read Across America, which is like it's actually his birthday, so it's just celebrating that. And that is I Hate Winter Day. And March third is Girls Basketball so Deck 16. Don't gotta worry about that. And <laughs> so, um. A uh, movie star slash celebrity day is also on March 30th. Okay. And <laughs> happy, happy birthday to uh, Tentry Puffer. Uh, yeah, that's all the birthdays. So, sit <laughs> As always, folks, thank you for joining in to another episode of ACG. Bye, bye, I'm Brian Burgundy. I'm Brian Fantana. Stay classy, Hitchcock, too. <laughs>